Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we're going to be doing some uh, Forza Horizon 4. And uh, we're going to go back to Forza 2 and 1 very shortly. However, this time we're going to go back only a few years back to Great Britain. And uh, I think everyone will remember this intro. Here's what I see. I see a festival that never ends. Where you can be whatever you want to be. It's not your dream holiday anymore. It's your dream life. That's the horizon I see. Let me show you. Welcome to Autumn, a new beginning for the festival that never ends. Don't go anywhere, Horizon is here to stay. So we are here straight in with the McLaren Centre in the beautiful Lake District in the UK. Very, very nice indeed. Definitely one of my favourite places to come and have a little race. I mean, look at the view. It's incredible, isn't it? Even they've got the details down from the roadworks to the cars, the potholes in the roads. They nailed Britain down to a T. Now, many people agreed that this was actually better than Horizon 5, just because of the location, really. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Personally, I prefer Horizon 4 just because of... I mean, look at that. Just because of that. It's so gorgeous. Horizon 5 really nailed the visuals, but Horizon 4 did it first, really. And it's... I don't know. There's something about it that just feels a lot more alive than Horizon 5. It's a great game, don't get me wrong. However, it's definitely not uh, my favourite Horizon by far. What we're going to be doing here, guys, is doing the intro and choosing our car, doing the first few races, and uh, then we're going to obviously do some more of these kind of uh, videos if you guys want to see them. And if you do, you need to let me know in the comments below. Let me know which you'd like to see next, Horizon 1 or Horizon 2, and then I'll go on to some other games as well, so stay tuned for those. We're going to go straight into winter now, I believe, with uh, one of the trucks. A Song of Ice and Tires, straight over the waterfall. I remember this one very well. So like I said, I'm playing on this on my new account as well. Uh, I created a new account just purely for going back to old games and reliving them straight from the beginning and uh, probably hopefully getting all the achievements on them eventually as well. That might take a while, but that might also be another video as well. If you guys like to see that, me uh, hunting for the achievements in all of the Forza games, please feel free to leave that in the comments below as well. I will be more than happy to do that for everyone that wants it. So now we're in the Rockstar truck here, guys, as you can see. And we're going to go straight forward into uh, what we are now, winter. So we're going to go finish this little percentage bit. And we're going to get put straight into spring, which I believe was with the Ford Fiesta Rally. Um, going through, I think this was the one against the bikes as well in the intro. I can't remember. But this one's quite fun to uh, play through again because I remember doing the demo on this as well. Like I did in my previous video on Horizon 3. Picking the demo and doing the intro in the demo was something else it's a it's a weird experience to to have um and definitely a good one at that so uh, hopefully we're gonna go straight into this without any more incidents i have learned how to drive a little bit since horizon 3 so you will be glad to hear that so i'm gonna go go straight through here into the festival bit and straight forward into spring there we go spring is in the air i was correct about that with racing the bikes in the fiesta a very very nice car indeed with the fans at the back love that definitely this was uh, this bit was the bit that took my breath away in the form of graphics as well it's so colorful and very vibrant a really nice place to drive through especially you know if you're just racing against two dirt uh, three dirt bikes rather how many have we got one two three four on the map we well, do we've got four. Oh, interesting i thought there was only two. Oh well can we just lose yellow and now there's only three Slow motion jump, and obviously uh, I believe this bit's where we've got to thread the needle a bit and go through the uh, the pipe that's laying down in the quarry down here. A very nice area location to do some playground games as well. I remember that very fondly, very fondly indeed. I'm going to go over this jump here, and I think it's just around this corner on the left, isn't it? Ah, there it is. I can just see it. And because it's me, and it's because it's YouTube, I'm going to try and go through it without any incident, and we're fine. Carry on. So I believe the next one is back to summer. And back in the McLaren Senna with uh, Scott Tyler on the radio, if I can remember correctly. Uh, definitely one of my favourite DJs in the game. I am a fan of Horizon Base Arena. It is my favourite station on every single um, Horizon game. And this one is definitely uh, no change there. So we're going to have a little listen and see what Scott Tyler has to say for us. 
This is it, Horizon. We are kicking off the summer season with the greatest race of all time. Point yourself in the direction of Horizon and put your foot down. Fern to the festival wins. So let's go. Look at that. Planes in the air. Racers going back to the festival. It's lovely. I believe this was the first Horizon to actually introduce this view as well on the dashboard. Uh, let me know if I am wrong. <laughs> But I think, don't think Horizon 3 had this. I can't actually remember it, to be honest with you guys. So please let me know in the comments. But this is a really nice view to have with all the telemetry on screen as well. Really nice indeed. We got some awesome racing trucks out there too. The most incredible hypercars are all here. I can see a Centenario. Ferrari FXXK. And a beautiful Bugatti Chiron. And is that a Vulcan? Oh, Horizon, you do not want to miss out on watching this. Look at that set of go. I mean, the car, sure, but someone's got to be handling that thing. Final straight. I can't breathe. And welcome to the Horizon Festival. Let's go straight in. Lovely. We're going to go look at this cutscenes and remind ourselves of what the first cars are and what we are going to choose. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Kira, director of the festival. Looks like you've made a good impression with our talent scouts. This one might have a real chance of taking a spot on the roster. Rebecca's one of our former champions. She's giving me a hand running the Horizon Road Racing Series. Excited? I remember my first day at Horizon. It's all pretty surreal, huh? I'll leave you two to get set up for the first race. Good luck. Right then, let's get you behind the wheel. Which one will it be? Now, as a previous owner of a Ford Focus ST, uh, I was going to select the RS then, but I did that back in the day when the game first came out, and I never actually got to try these two. So I'm quite a fan of the TTS Coupe A, uh, although I do like a good muscle car. But uh, we're going to go a nice, sporty car. So here we have the first look at the map again. Uh, I haven't played this game in a, a year or two now, so I'm definitely just getting the memories back around. Lake Derwent over here, nice in the Lake District, and uh, I think it was down. That was the uh, intro road here to look at all of the all of the lake over here. You've got the villages over here, and you've got Edinburgh up here. I think, yeah, that's it, all the way up there. You can buy castles and everything like that. Really nice map, really well put together. I do like it a lot. So we're going to go ahead and do this race quickly. Uh, we're going to do the Horizon Festival circuit on the road racing series, and uh, just discuss a little bit more about the game while we go around. Here we go, getting ready on the grid, guys, on the first race of Horizon 4. Back, it feels good to be back. And uh, we're going to be racing against, obviously, AI. However, they do take the name of some of your friends, which is also very nice. I like that they did that in the driver task section of Forza. So the reason why I didn't click on the Focus RS for this race uh, was simply because I will get it in future. However, um, I did use it back in the day uh, for... Get out of the way, Buzz. Before um, in the demo and in the actual first... When the time of the first game came out, uh, I was using the RS quite a lot then, so I didn't want to overuse it a bit. I've never used this TTS Coupe, so I did want to try it out a little bit, and it just handled very nicely indeed. Um, I do seem to remember at some point the Focus RS having that really weird wide body kit on it, um, and somehow being able to absolutely tramp everyone uh, in an AI race. It seemed to be always the one that was two laps ahead for some reason was always in a focus rs wide body so i didn't really understand that at all um so it's another reason why i've chosen this audi tts coupe for today so let me know in the comments below guys um i am interested in doing a lot more than just the ford series however this will be the uh, majority of the first four episodes we've done horizon 3 you're watching horizon 4 now we're going to go back to horizon 1 and 2 in the coming weeks so uh, definitely stay tuned for those and subscribe if you are not already to be kept up to date with all the latest videos from myself um it's pretty weird there's about 80 percent of the people that watch the video that aren't actually subscribed so if you are one of those please do hit that button down below it's free and you can always unsubscribe as well if it's not what you're looking for and remember as well if you do enjoy today's video guys for the algorithm please like the video um and uh share it around with your friends obviously that would be greatly appreciated 
Also, let me know down there in the comments, guys, what kind of things that you liked about this game and what you didn't like. I'll be interested to see what kind of things you all have in common and what are you uh, differentiate on. Uh, for example, the favourite thing on this was the uh, introduction of the big uh, motorway down the middle of the map and the introduction of the city of Edinburgh. Um, before that, it was Surfer's Paradise in Horizon 3, and that was a really, really good city. I did like that a lot. Um, but... There's something about Edinburgh that makes it feel more realistic and alive. So it's definitely a really, really nice place to be. And as we come across the finish line, guys, we are finishing that in just under three minutes. A very nice, very nice ride indeed. The TTS Coupe, very nice indeed to uh, to drive. Beating the likes of the Z4 and the uh, Lotus Exceed. Very nice indeed. I have a Mazda uh, X5 in there as well. Didn't do too bad. Uh, unlucky. So there we are, guys. We're going to go and uh, finish off this video here with a nice little introduction race and the uh, actual intro to the game of Horizon 4. I'm going to finish it just by driving down this road here because this will be directly over to the Lake District. You'll have a nice little view. Look at that over in the sunset. Lovely drift as well. Straight over here. And that view is one of my favourite in Forza. It's such, such a good view. I think there's a danger sign here. So I'm just going to pull over on the side here just so you can take a little look at that. I'll just pull over here. Look at that. It's a lovely view, isn't it, guys? So that is going to be a bit for me in today's video, guys. Um, let me go in the comments below what you'd like to see from me next. And um, I really did hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Forza Horizon 4, what do you make of it? Let me know in the comments. I did enjoy it quite a lot. But anyway, guys, that is it for me in today's video, and I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.